Okay, David, a, a two-one win at Runcorn Linux today. Was that was that a really solid, good performance to to see us through there? Yeah, we had to dig in at times. Linux are a good side. They've got a lot of quality, a lot of experience, um, and they made us work very, very hard for three points. And they had their chances, but we we put our bodies on the line. And Tom came through a couple of times when he had to. Um, but we, we stuck to our principles and we played when we could. Um, we could have had a couple, you know, could have had a couple more as well. So I think a good solid win. Um, maybe just edged it. I, I don't think a draw would have been a, an unfair result either. A uh, good game for the neutral, but but I'm delighted to get three points. You know, they're the, ga the games we need to win against rivals. Do you feel like we had the better chances to, to score through the game? I think maybe. Um, they had a few flash across the box though. They had uh, a couple. I think they might be Rainford who kind of up one over his shoulder another day that goes in. So. Um, it wasn't a wasn't a comfortable win by any stretch. We really had to dig in and 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 then take our chances, and we did. You know, a bit bit of magic, bit of quality from uh, Mason with the volley, and a bit of quality from Andy to step it up and and really pleased with Umar. You know, not scored for a while, but a real poacher's goal. So it's a a, a, a solid, well deserved win, I think. Just on that Mason goal as well, so that's some finish now. Yeah, excellent finish, and it came from uh, from just putting a ball into an area. Uh, Keo did really well to get the flick, and then. Mason showed full of confidence, hit it early, and before the keeper could really set and really got, got through it, it's a very, very good finish. Uh, and you just mentioned Andy Keo, influential in both goals today, really good performance. As good it? as Andy's been for weeks, um, I know he's, he's had his, his bit, kind of a jilt uh, season where he's a bit stop start with his, uh, with his honeymoon and a few other things going on, um, but he's, he's been working really hard on his fitness, and, and today I thought he did, led the line well as a nine in the first half. I thought he, against a couple of really good centre backs, big, strong, physical lads, he, he held his own, he got us up the pitch, um, he created a few things with little touches, he worked out our possession, stopped the play, and then had to drop back in to roll back the years a little bit, dropping into midfield, and real captain's performance there, drag players around him, and uh, you know, you'll see it on the highlights, a little bit of magic for the goal, drops his, drops his hit, little turn, little shimmy, and, a, and a, an absolutely superb cross, which, is, which we know he's got, and it's great to see him, uh, see him back to close to his best. Uh, and you, a sign of a, a really solid performance today. Players walk off at the end of the game, clapped by the away fans, and then cheered. Well, so clapped off by the home fans too. That's that's got to mean something to yeah, all of them. Yeah, and credit to, to Linux fans. We've we've been here twice now in in, in the last two years. That's the two times I've been as a as a manager, um, and we've we've won both games and both times we clapped off by the fans. I think they were a really good set of fans who understand football and um, and, and are happy to applaud both sides when they uh, you know when they put in a performance like that. I don't think Linux were bad today, by any stretch of the imagination. I thought they played well, I thought they asked lots of questions. Another day they, they, they could easily have picked up the three points. It was just a really good game of football, I think a really good advert for, for Northern Premier League and shows the quality that's in this league. And it's now time to, to kick on again. We go to, we've got Colne at home next Saturday, busy January, uh, yeah. but in a good position. We've probably got busy that. January at the right time. Uh, we haven't really had, I think that this was probably the third time we had back-to-back wins this this season it's the first time now we've, we've had three on the spin we haven't really had a run where we've had a string of victories we haven't really had a run with a big string of losses either um, we've been a bit inconsistent a bit patchy we, now is the time to just start to build momentum and we've we, you know we've, we've had three games since christmas i thought we've had three good performances i thought we showed a lot of great a lot of determination a lot of character we've stuck to our principles and played good football we've created probably more chances than we had, did earlier in the season as well um, and converted a couple of those, so it's a good time to have a, a lot of games, and especially against teams like uh, Workington and Leek. You know, the, the teams that are just above us, um, it gives us a chance to, to peg them back if we can if we can pick up the right results in those. So, looking forward to January. It's a tough month, but that's that's what you want to be here for games like that. And a good sign for us compared to January last season, where we were sort of playing catch up for the year. You, you've got your team into into those playoff spots. There's a bit of a cushion there. That must be a nice feeling knowing that. We're in the right position instead of chasing the pack this year. It's it's really in our hands. Uh, a year ago, we had that terrible um, November and December, and, and, it, and it meant that going into the new year, we were really dependent on other teams tripping up, and you know we, we would have to have been almost flawless from uh, from January through to the end of the season, and still relied on others. It's in our hands now. If we go and look after our own games, if we pick up the results that we should pick up, um, if we can take points off the teams around us, then then we should be in the playoffs. It's very much up to us, and it's it's. Do we turn up like we like we have done for the last three games and play with that level of commitment and desire and passion, um, that that quality in possession, create those chances and and, and win games, or, or do we do what we've done a couple of times earlier in the season? Ramsbottom and Skem stand out where we we just a shadow. Um, it's up to us, you know. We've we've got to get that right, but we've got the lads who've been there throughout the season. We are, we've not chopped and changed. We've we've stuck with the core. They know what it's about. They know what's needed, and I think there's a little bit of belief in there at the moment, which is good. Thanks, David, and well done for today. Thanks, Nathan.